just started 2019. Something happened when we went for an operation. A colleague of mine was killed and I was accused. Ever since I've been in detention. On January 2020, the authority insisted that I'll be prosecuted. I was taken to Taraba State where the incident happened. I was being transferred from Abuja here back to Taraba. So one of the officers that was taking me down, when he heard the story, he said to me that they called him a day before that he was to escort somebody to Taraba State. But he said that his spirit was selling him to get that pamphlet for me. So he opened his bag and brought a pamphlet, 21 days prayer and fasting for Divine Hand Ministry with a picture of Prophet Emmanuel Omali on it. So he gave it to me and told me that he knows that what I'm going through is the enemy attack. But I should not worry. If I can diligently go through this prayer and fasting with faith, that he's sure that something will happen. So he gave me his number and told me and told me that whenever I want to share my testimony, because he knows that I'm coming with testimony that I will call him. He gave that number. I said okay. So we got to Jalingo on 27th of January. On 28th, I was taken to court and from there I was remanded in Jalingo prison. So on since that 28th, I started the prayer and fasting. I continue diligently not eating anything. For when it was the 19th day into the fast, I slept in the evening and I dreamt. In that dream, I saw the prophet wearing a white with a yellow, with a yellow bed, goldish round his waist. I was, I saw myself going into a community seeking for help. Then we met, we crossed paths on the road. While we crossed by, I stood and I looked back. I didn't know he has stood too. I was looking back. He called me, my son, come. Where are you going to? Go back to the gate. You have been released nationally. Can we hear you? Go ahead. And your prayer has been answered. So I turned back and I went back to where I was coming from. I woke up. I was like, what am I hearing? That's the first time in my life that I have an encounter like that. So ever since, I've held on to that vision that I've been told that I've been released. So no matter how long it's going to take me, I know I'm going to be released. I have been there for a year now. I've been there for a year now. And I said to myself that any day I am released, I will go to that place and I will bow my head to the altar there. Lo and behold, today, making it one year, exactly one year, 28th of January, that I was in prison, here I am, life and direct before you, to the glory and to honor this commission. After the dream, it takes how many days for you to come out from the prison? After, the, after that dream, that was 19 days into the fasting. I, I was just new in that prison. I, it took me the whole of 2020. The whole of 2020, I was still in prison till this January that I was released. So I remember the vow I made that any day I'm released, I will go to that, I will look for that place that that prophet that declared to me in the vision that I will go there and bow my head at that, at least to honor that anointing. So we were here yesterday. I was just going through my pocket Bible. Then I saw the address. I said, oh, I said I'm going to visit this place and I have to. So this, this morning, we got prepared. We had to touch one or two places to put some things in order. Then I left, went to my office. I'm getting to my office. I was through with them. Though what I met was not palatable, but I believe that God he has settled that. So we left and we were to go back home. I said, no, I'm not going back to the house. You are going to... Divine Hand Ministries, Divine Hand Ministries at Durumi 
I don't know anywhere. So we got a taxi and we find ourselves here. It was when I stepped into this place, I now remember that today is 28. This was the exact day I entered prison. And this is the exact day, a year after I'm stepping my leg in divine hand ministry. I know that God was involved. It was indeed a divine hand intervention. So, my brethren, this is my story. I want to use this opportunity to honor the anointing over the man of God, Prophet Emmanuel O'Malley, to speak to everybody out there that have been in challenges like this. I want to assure you, it can only be God. It can only be God. No man can do it. It is God that said, there is nothing that is difficult for him. Indeed, it proved to me firsthand that it was not difficult at all. It's as easy as anything for him. So please, hold on to your faith. Stand your ground in faith. Believe in God that whatsoever word, prophetic word has been declared over your life, it must surely come to pass. Like it came to pass in my life, and I believe also that it will go to, come to pass in your life.